Welcome learners to Form 2 Chemistry. I'm Teacher Jane and I want to continue on how to write chemical formula of compounds. This is Chemistry Learner, Form 2 Chemistry. How to write chemical formula of compounds. This is a very important subtopic, learner, because it helps you to write chemical equations. After mastering this, you'll be able to write chemical equations, learners. So, how do you write the formula of lead to nitrate learner? I've already taught you in another video a valency, uh, the valency song that we normally use with my students. Maybe you can uh, go to the video, to the channel, and uh, check on that song. Master it so that you are able to write this formula. So, lead to nitrate learner, how do you write the formula? So, so we talk of lead, the symbol is PB, master the symbol slang, PB. Nitrate is NO3, even from the song, the valency song in my channel, you will see all these learner. So, lead, uh, the symbol is PB, nitrate is NO3. What is the valency of lead? It is this one here. Whenever you come across this uh, Roman number in brackets learner, it always refers to the element that just comes before it. It refers to this element there learner. Put that in mind. And therefore, the valency for lead is 2 learner. Nitrate learner, the valency is 1. Just master that song and you will be able to write all this. I said in the other video that you first ignore the charge here. The valency is normally equal to the charge, like you would have one negative, which is just a negative there. And here you would have two positive. So just ignore the charge in the meantime. So the valency is two, the valency is one. Interchange learner. So PB goes with one. And nitrate is a radical. If a, a, a radical takes more than one, more than one valency learner, you put it in bracket. Listen to this, dear learner. If a radical, like NO3 is a radical, if it takes more than one here, like now this is two, if it takes two, three, four, and so on and so forth, learner, you put that radical inside the bracket like that and you put this number down here. I hope you have got that light. And therefore this is lead to nitrate, valency to valency one, interchange. PB is one, write it that way, ignore, ignore the one. Nitrate is a radical. If nitrate is taking two, if a radical takes more than two, I repeat this, more than one, sorry, more than one, like now it has two, you put it inside brackets and you put two. That normally makes students to fail and that is why I'm repeating, dear Lana. Okay, we go to number two, Lana. This is ammonium sulfate. It is made up of ammonium symbol, uh, NH4, ignore the charge there. Sulfate is SO4. In the meantime, ignore the charge. SO4, ignore the charge. So, valency for ammonium learner is 1, even from the valency song. Make sure you go through my valency song. Valency for sulfate is 2 learner. Then, interchange. So, ammonium takes two and it is a radical. So put it in brackets like that. NH4 in brackets two. Then SO4 is another radical, but it just takes one. So this is the ammonium sulfate. Okay? We move on learner to aluminium sulfate. The symbol for aluminium learner is AL. Sulfate is SO4. So, valency for aluminium learner is 3, valency for sulfate is 2, interchange like that. Aluminium is an element and therefore you write Al2 here. SO4, sulfate is a radical, it is taking 3, so you put it inside a bracket. If a radical takes more than 1, put it inside a bracket. 
So that is aluminium sulfate uh, compound formula. That is the formula of that compound. We go to the next, copper 2 nitrate liner. This two refers to what again? To the valency of the element that comes before it. So copper Cu master the symbol nitrate NO3 uh -huh. master that valency for copper is 2 we have just talked about that valency for nitrate liner is 1 interchange like that so copper is 1 just write it like that nitrate takes 2 it takes more than 1 so it takes 2 if it takes two, you put that radical inside a bracket and you write your two there. Copper to nitrate is written that way. We go to iron 3 chloride runner. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see this. Iron, iron 3 chloride. 3 is the valency for iron. Symbol for iron runner is Fe. Look at that. Chlorine, this is a compound of iron and chlorine. So Cl, like that line. Valency for iron is this, 3. Look at that. Chlorine from the song of valency is 1. Interchange, like that. So Fe takes 1. No need of writing 1 here. Cl takes 3. It is not a radical, so you will just write Cl3. It's an element. We go to barium carbonate liner. Barium is BA symbol. You must fix them in the head liner. Carbonate is a radical, which we write as CO3. You know the charge there in the meantime. Uh -huh. Valency for barium, 2 from our song. Valency for carbonate, 2 from the valency song liner. Okay, from there, uh, simplify this by 2, 1 by 2, 1. So they both take, they each take one one. So barium one, no need of writing it here. CO3 one, no need of writing it. So that is the formula of barium carbonate. I hope we are together, Lana. We go to sodium carbonate. Look at this, Lana. Sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Sodium lana simple master the correct symbol Na carbonate CO3. Look at that. Sodium the valence is one carbonate two lana interchange. So sodium is one, no need of writing one. Carbonate takes uh, sorry, sodium takes two. Sorry, sodium takes two. Carbonate takes one lana. From the lana, we go to nitrogen two oxide. Nitrogen two oxide is a compound of nitrogen and oxygen. It is a compound of nitrogen and oxygen. The symbol for nitrogen lana is N and this is oxygen. It's a compound of nitrogen and oxygen. Symbol for nitrogen N, symbol for uh, oxygen O. So this refers to the valency of nitrogen in this case. Remember? So this is 2 lana valency. This is 2. Again, divide by 2, 1, divide by 2, 1, interchange. So the formula is NO. All right. We go to nitrogen oxide. This lana refers to the valency of nitrogen. Nitrogen, the symbol is N, oxygen. There we are. This is valency 4. This is valency 2. By 2, 1. By 2, 2. Interchange. And therefore, it gives you N is 1. Okay. And O is 2. This is the formula of nitrogen for oxide gas, Lana. We go to another gas here, sulfur 4 oxide. It is a compound of sulfur and oxygen. Sulfur, symbol S, oxygen O. This is the valency of uh, sulfur 4. 4 is the valency of sulfur. Oxygen, we know it is 2. Divide by 2 to simplify. Divide by 2 gives you 2. Interchange, Lana. So S goes with 1 and O is 2. 
This is sulfur for oxide gas. We are almost done, learner. I hope that you are still following. So lead to oxide. The symbol for lead is Pb. Uh -huh. Oxygen is the other element there. Valency 2. This is to learn. It is not very clear. 2. So it is the valency for lead. And oxygen is also 2. Simplify by 2, 1, by 2, 1. Interchange. Uh -huh. Each one of them takes 1. Pb1, O1. No need of writing them. So this is the formula for lead to oxide. Uh -huh. Magnesium chloride is a compound of magnesium and chlorine. Magnesium lana is Mg. Master the symbols lana. Chlorine Cl. Magnesium valence is 2. Chlorine the valency is 1. Interchange lana. You get Mg takes 1. Cl element takes 2. And therefore that is the formula of magnesium chloride. Aha. Finally lana so that you go and practice ammonium phosphate. Ammonium radical is written as NH4. Phosphate is PO4. PO4 lana. No need of writing the charges there. Go to the valency. Ammonium valency is 1. Phosphate valency is 3. Interchange. And therefore this gives you ammonium radical takes 3. So you put it inside the bracket. Lana. So this is 4, sorry. NH4. You put it inside bracket. You write your 3. Here you are. So NH4 in bracket 3. Then phosphate is another radical but it is just taking 1. You write PO4. Okay, ammonium is a radical. If it takes more than one, you put bracket. So bracket three, you write your three there. Phosphate is a radical one. And therefore, this is for formula of ammonium phosphate. Learners, go and practice on how to write chemical formula. Uh, God bless you very, very much for listening to me. Go and subscribe to my channel, Lana, and God bless you. Thank you.